we've got barbecue back here you're all invited welcome to the sleep cast how are you doing today kyle all right jared how are you doing today no complaints no complaints no complaints kyle uh how'd you feel about this week's uh this week's college football lineup outside of um, ohio state not much chaos not much chaos well there, there was some chaos there was some chaos you had two top 10 losses um an additional top 20 loss a couple of them uh yeah a couple of them we have a few of them so let's let's go ahead let's go and talk about three. them um three as a matter of fact three in the top 20 well five in the top 20 but then two of those being in the top 10 that's a good amount of chaos all right, let's let's jump into the first one then, Jared. Notre Dame getting their key signature win of the year? Question mark. Yes, uh, beating Syracuse forty-one to twenty-four. Yeah, I, Notre Dame. Am I right? <laughs> like, which Notre Dame is going to show up? I don't know. They're five and three now, which is uh, somewhat respectable considering they lost to Marshall. <laughs> mm-hmm uh are they well, and, that, and that and that helps that helps ohio state and it ultimately doesn't matter but it that with notre dame beating syracuse here it really helps out ohio state's uh strength of schedule which um they're now uh of the top five teams ohio state um georgia tennessee michigan alabama they they have the toughest or the the best strength of schedule of those teams. Interesting. Um, no one will believe it, though, because they're not in the SEC and blah, blah, blah. Of course, of course not. It doesn't fit their narrative. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see here. TCU um, coming back to beat West Virginia 41 to 31. Yeah, this uh, is, is it fair to say comeback? For what it's worth, Notre Dame is ranked 30th by the AP. Um, yeah, this one is probably closer than you'd want it to be if you were, um, I don't know, Austin, a TCU fanboy. Um, I think TCU is fine. This is not a good performance beating a pretty bad WVU team by 10 points. But whatever. They just came off a big win against Kansas State. Their defense is obviously suspect um that's just how i guess things are in the big 12 um and yes a a horned frog will in fact shoot blood out of its eye that is a thing that happens but yeah it's uh it's their, their defense is suspect could they get into the playoffs maybe i think it's possible um it just sort of depends upon the chaos that happens in front of them but i think it's entirely possible Yep. If they win out, they're in. I agree, Austin. I just, yep. with a defense this bad, with a defense this inconsistent at the very least, it's hard for me to see them winning out. I agree. And no, Austin, they won't win a game in the playoff. I totally, I totally get that. Yeah. All right. Georgia defeating Florida 42 to 20 in their last neutral site uh rivalry game is is this the last one in jacksonville i think so okay well that's not true he says austin i, I austin. thought it was or or is it in 20 oh it's guaranteed in next year okay 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 so it's it might not be neutral in 2024 is what austin okay. is saying all right yeah, Georgia just doing Georgia things here. I mean, what, what more can you say here? They, they're 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 one of the best teams here, and they just no issues uh, handling Florida here. Florida Florida made a run there and made it close, but Georgia Georgia, Georgia fell just, asleep with their, with their talent. Yeah, Georgia fell asleep. They got some really nice bounces early in the game. They had, you know a crazy touchdown to their tight end where the ball was batted several times. Um, they got a little, they got a little complacent 
Florida worked their way back into the game. Um, it looked like it was going to be a game again. And then Georgia remembered how to play football and they shut that down. Uh, Wake, Wake Forest forgot how to play football. Uh, they lose to Louisville 48 to 21. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, we saw two top 10 teams get bludgeoned this week. Absolutely. Uh, apparently gangland made a, a new role called frog sympathizer. Isn't there a why in the word sympathizer somewhere? There is. Okay. You might want to, <laughs> you might want to give that one a second look gangland. <laughs> All right. Oh, you that, purposely that, made that, that, it back to, to here, Jared. Gotcha. Wake, Wake Forest. Wake Forest. This is their second loss here. And yeah, it's the devastating loss. It, it's, they, they it's, got, it, yeah, it's a devastating. Yeah. And, and it's, did Louisville it's get to, ranked because of this Clemson right now? What's that, Jared? Did Louisville get ranked because of this game? They're five and three and they just slaughtered Wake. I'm just curious. No, they uh, didn't. No they, AP love. No AP love. Nope. No AP love. Okay. But yeah, uh, 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 Wake, if Wake had any hope of still being in it, that hope's now gone. Clemson's going to roll into the ACC championship game. Yeah. Oof. Speaking of just devastation. They literally Oklahoma. got one AP vote for 25th place. Well, there you go. Oklahoma State. Good God. Oklahoma State dropped a bomb. Didn't score a single point, losing to Kansas State 48 to nothing. Wow. I did not see I did not see this coming. I that, it, that, if if you predicted a shutout in a Big 12 game, I'd call you crazy. So no oof. no one saw this coming. Oof. Yeah, it's total devastation for Oklahoma State. They they pick up their second loss in the worst possible way. Um, it, we appear to be, if you're a Big Twelve fan anyway, we're all in on one team now. It's all it's all TCU. Um, between yep. TCU beating Kansas State last week and Kansas State beating Oklahoma State this week, that's it. You're all you're all in on the Horn Frogs at this point. If you're a Big Twelve booster. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, State only Oklahoma State rushed the ball for 54 yards. 1.8 yards per carry in this game. Not good. Not good, Jared. Oklahoma State dropped to 18th in the AP. Goes to show how close teams 8 through 25 are this year. I, It would be hard for me to rank them 18th after losing 48 to nothing. But I agree. they're also also it just comes down to who else, because there's just not 18th is too high for sure. I know I yeah, and I agree with you, Austin, but it's like, but who else? You know what I mean? Like, who the hell else do you rank up there at this point? You know, who, who you rank yeah, ahead yeah. of them? Illinois. Yeah. You rank Illinois ahead of them as they beat Nebraska 26 to 9. Illinois 7 and 1. Speaking of teams that were like just surprised to see how how they're doing this year. Illinois 7 and 1. Huh? How about those yeah. how about the fighting birds there, Jared? The Eli and I. Uh, remember a couple weeks ago when I said Illinois would be ranked seventh when they faced Michigan, not looking too far fetched now. Seventh they're still seems they're still seems 14th. high. They're currently fourteenth in the AP. Seventh still seventh still feels high. If I'm yeah. being honest, but maybe we're yeah, looking Illinois for maybe we're looking for an upset in that game. That would be fun. Yeah, Illinois just, yeah, they're they're just winning games here, and yeah, and they're, I don't know, it's it's not that that impressive of a team. I mean, when you when you look at their their wins here, they 
beat Iowa nine to six. They're not blowing teams out. That's for sure. Yeah, they, they, they beat a depleted Minnesota team, 26 to 14 and a Nebraska team that just has no identity at all in here. Uh, yeah, but how it, did they lose to Indiana? How did they at early in the year until they found out how to win games, I guess. My God. How do you <laughs> how did they lose to Indiana? Uh, they lost at the end of the game. If you remember how <laughs> how how do you make it a possibility that you would need the last play to matter against Indiana. How do you even leave it that close? Um, they, what was, was it here? Was it a bunch of turnovers? Yeah, I don't they remember. Had turn, they had four turnovers in that game. To how many? Uh, I know it was week one. Four to two. Minus two is not totally insurmountable, statistically speaking. They played week zero, but that was week one. Yeah, it just feels like forever ago at this point. Yeah, yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, Oregon defeats Cal 42 to 24. Oregon keeps winning. They keep doing their they keep doing their thing here. Yeah. And. All right. Question. Let's say TCU huh? loses a game. Um, But they still go to the Big 12 championship game and they win the Big 12 championship. Okay. Let's say Oregon wins the Pac-12 championship. Okay. Who's, and let's say there's one spot left. Who are you yep. giving it to? How, how does TCU lose? That's... We'll say just say a close one within a score. Within a score. Man, like my gut feeling, my gut feeling would be that TCU should get in based on their schedule and who they've beaten. But, but I mean, or Oregon's got that name, it's got that name brand right now. And then and then you look in you're gonna look at the end of the regular season here where Oregon gets to play two, maybe three ranked teams and TCU the rest of the year will be playing maybe one. Austin says Oregon needs to be the only one loss team um, in the conversation to get in. I don't disagree with him. They got embarrassed. They got utterly embarrassed by Georgia. Utterly embarrassed. And, and, and it goes back to like, if you're going to lose, you want to lose that early on. And especially not that bad, get... but not that bad. But part of me, but part of me, yeah, part of me is like Oregon should not get in because of how bad they lost to a team that's going to be in the playoffs. And so it's like, is this, is this what you want to see is a team that gets demolished from the first round in the, or in the semifinals there. Is that what you want to see? Uh, Clemson, I mean, my, my, SEC my, champ, big 10 my, my champs are all no. getting my in. Answer, my answer is no, because I mean, it's the same thing with Ohio state happened. Ohio state lost one game and they didn't get in because they got, uh, they got beat. They got, they, yeah, they got beat to Purdue, um, Henley. And that's all you kept hearing about is like, oh, well, Ohio State lost. They lost by a lot to Purdue. No, we can't put them in because they lost to Purdue by a lot. It, what's the difference to with Oregon here, other than, other than that's maybe the point? That's the point Austin and I are making. That's so that's I, the point. In, in, my, in my opinion, in my opinion, if if TCU, let, let's just say TCU loses to Texas. They lose to Texas by three points. They go on to win all the other games, and then they win also their uh, their conference championship game, too. I think you put TCU in over Oregon. 
Yeah. Um, all right. All right. Let's let's finish these games up and then um, we will we'll get to uh, to our actual rankings here, Jared. Okay. Uh, Cincinnati gets their second loss. I think is their second, second or third. I forget. Uh, but either way, they lose to UCF twenty five to twenty one. Yep. This was this was I, I think it's impressive. I think it's incredibly impressive that Cincinnati in a year that is an off year for them, considering the talent they lost last year, that they're six and two and made their way into the rankings, lost, made their way back into the rankings in a year that really should be a down year for Cincinnati. I think they're playing excellently. Um mm-hmm they're meeting the low expectations I had for them. They're exceeding the low expectations I had for them. Low expectations also is, is Missouri. Missouri is a terrible, terrible team, but they beat uh, a don't know why they were ranked. Well, I mean, I know why they were ranked, but a, a ranked South Carolina team that's no longer ranked at 23 to 10. I what move forward. I don't, I don't care. Okay. Uh, Tennessee absolutely demolishes Kentucky 44 to six. It's a big this win is, for this Tennessee. Is, this, is, this is just like the Kansas state, Oklahoma state here. Well, not, not really because uh, Kentucky should never have been ranked anyway, but either way. Uh, <laughs> I disagree. There's some terrible teams in the, in that 25 to 15 area. It's it's the exact same conversation we just had with Oklahoma State and only falling to 18th. Do they deserve to be there? No. But who do you actually put in front of them? By the way, Austin's asked you a question. Do you see this? Uh, can you tell me who the highest group of five team is in the AP for 50 Sloop Bucks? Um, can I can I tell you that they are the uh the flames of liberty. Oh, you totally looked that up. Oh, no, apparently not. Austin says you're incorrect. Fucking Tulane, he says. <laughs> Fucking Tulane. All right, moving on. Uh, USC. USC. Oh. A lot of people have high expectations from USC, but man, their their defense is just they're hot Oklahoma garbage. Hot they, garbage recently. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're they, Oklahoma. Yes, they beat Arizona forty five to thirty seven. They're they're Oklahoma. They 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 moved out west and they added some yellow to the uniform, but they're Oklahoma. That it, it's just another Lincoln Riley Oklahoma team with yellow trim. I don't know. I don't know what you what else you want. All right. Um, Michigan finally beats Michigan State after three years, 29 to seven. I don't know if, were they on a three year losing streak? Um, That's not right, is it? Michigan, no, Michigan no. State no, the, it was the first time winning in three years. So they lost the previous two years. Gotcha. Okay. I don't believe they played in 2020, Austin says. No, they did. I, I'm I'm pretty sure they did. Okay. Uh Harbaugh didn't duck that one. Nope. Harbaugh did not duck that one. Okay. Um yeah, most mo- most of the notable th- takeaways from this game. Uh one, like, you know, there there were some there were some Michigan fans being like, oh, you struggled against Penn State and we dominated them, and then turned around and <laughs> Ohio State fans were like, oh, yeah, well, we destroyed Michigan State and you struggled don't be, against them. Don't be hiding in that, don't be hiding in that, uh, that glass house now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, most of, the, most of the action in this game took place in the tunnel after the game. Uh, but we'll, we'll leave that conversation to a different podcast because I have no interest. Um, yeah. It, yes, it, yeah, well, the we, tunnel. We much- yes, the tunnel system is flawed. Yes, Michigan should fix that. That also doesn't excuse anything. Yes, there are some that Michigan excuse, players. Yeah, that doesn't excuse bo- what both of these teams did. It doesn't excuse the actions of the Michigan players who were 
causing shit in the trouble and it all the, the causing shit in the tunnel and it also it's nothing ex, new. It's ex, nothing new. extraordinarily doesn't justify the reaction from the Michigan State players either no. um it's a mess um they won't fix it they only need to like procedurally fix it have you ever seen when the cuz like when at, at Ohio Stadium when it happens more than twice in uh, what happens more than once in two weeks, it's a pattern. Yeah. I thought we weren't going to talk about it. Well, yeah, you know. we're moving. We're moving on. Uh, Ole Miss defeats Texas A&M 31 to 28. Uh, yeah, I'm Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. Jared. Two, two in a row choosing chaos for me. This is two in a row Jared. now. How high was Texas A&M ranked earlier? Uh, they were like seventh or eighth this, then they fell to 15th and where are they now, Austin? I hope, uh, Ole Miss loses again because I can't bear to hear the four seam as uh, dude, this is their, their second loss. They're they jumped up four spots for beating a, a three and five Texas A&M spot team by three. Ole Miss points. is 11. Okay. Um, yeah. in they moved up what force whatever like they do you think they beat bama no of course not no no texas a&m not ranked in the top 41 by the way i really i really thought texas a&m was going to win this game i like i had it as my choose my chaos and i thought i had two in a row um didn't didn't quite play out that way unfortunately for me um you you don't think Ole Miss has a chance against Bama? What, what, what's that? What's that? Uh, gif? You, you had me in the first half. <laughs> yeah, that, that that's what that's what that would be. Yeah, exactly. Ole Miss has no defense. Yeah, neither does Alabama. All right. Um, UNC defeats Pitt forty-two to twenty-four. UNC this was certainly my, this was doesn't. My, this was my um. Uh, chaos game here, but uh, didn't didn't quite pan out. But it looked like Pitt had Pitt had UNC in the first half, but uh, <laughs> that was it. Yeah, you went see you went see quietly, yeah, quietly a um, with a seven and one record here. Yeah, uh, they've quietly moved their way back into the top twenty five. Uh, but their Boston what, just says they're now seventeenth. And their quarterback's having a hell of a year too, um, but their he's, biggest win—he's putting was, up some crazy win numbers. Was here, Jared? Their biggest win was here against Pitt because their previous wins against remember that that fun Appy State sixty-three to sixty-one game. Yeah, it, is it Virginia Tech? Is it Miami? Is it Duke? Or is it Pitt as their uh, as their uh, best win here? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, they're they're certainly the OK, but who did you beat aspect to it? Yep. But okay, they're the perfect in but they're perfect in conference. They are. Are, are they are they because yeah. their one loss is to Notre Dame. Are they they're in the other? I, I, I there they're are. The thank you, Austin. Austin already knew where I was going with that. They they're are the on the opposite side. Jared, yes. He knows I can't tell the difference between the coastal and the Atlantic to save my life. So appreciates austin um so the real question is can north carolina i only know because i'm staring at it to be fair yeah no, no one i i feel like acc fans don't know the difference between the, the the athletic the atlantic and the coastal all right question can north carolina win out Beat Clemson, get into the playoffs? Yes, no, no. <laughs> well, you, if they don't beat Clemson, then they don't win out. So I think that would be no, no, no. Well, they win out. No, you said, can they win out, beat Clemson? Beating Clemson is winning out. Well, I took, okay. 
whatever. Yeah, All right, and the la- last, ga- last game here, UCLA defeats Stanford 38 to 13, something U- USC could not do. Was it USC? No, I was thinking of somebody else who lost to Stanford. Oh, that, that was Notre Dame. Never that was mind. Notre Dame, yeah. That was Notre Dame. Uh, U- UCLA 38, Stanford 13. UCLA is trying to work their way back up. Yep, they're 10th now. They are there's, there's some contenders in the Pac-12 right now, all of them with one loss, but well, you know they're positioning themselves. Well, let's let's talk about that then, Jared. Let's let's bring up our graph then and give our um, our tier list here for week nine. Do that. And once again, it is totally off center. Yeah, look at that elite division. Yeah, it kind of kind of looks like the. Uh, the Big Ten West, if I'm being honest, Austin. All right. First question. Georgia kind of slaughtered uh, Florida in a week in which Ohio State uh, didn't look great. Um, do we have a conversation about who should be number one? Mm-hmm. Or for that matter, Tennessee? I mean, Georgia and Tennessee will play each other this week, so it's a. I, I think for I think from what we've seen the past, I, I think I think let's just move Tennessee up to one and just slide Ohio State and Georgia down. Tennessee to one, so you want Georgia at three and Ohio State at one. At two. Or yeah. yeah. Yeah, yep, just like excuse that. me. Just like that. Okay. And Michigan can stay where they're at. Uh Clemson I agree. can stay Clemson can stay where they're at. They didn't I agree. They didn't play. Alabama didn't play. They stay where they're at. I agree. And Oklahoma State, this is their second loss. Yeah. They go down. Yep. No, not even not even to mm, Oh, I there, I'm getting votes for M tier, which, by the way, they pick up their second loss, 48 to nothing. This might be exactly yeah. what M tier is for. Okay. I think this might be exactly what M tier is for. All right. So who else can go up there? Man, I do not feel comfortable putting Oregon in A tier because of what happened in, in week one. I, I can't, I can't, I agree, but I can't put them there. I agree. Um, I, Oregon so can Wake stay For- down there. Wake Forest with their second loss. You can, you can put them away there. USC, US, USC wins. I, I, don't, I don't think you No, Utah, Utah did play like a weekday game. Um, so they go, they go stay in the B tier. Penn State with their second loss. Uh, Illinois State, uh, yeah, Penn State goes goes down. Illinois stays stays where they're at. UCLA stays where they're at. Ole Miss stays where they're at, and Syracuse goes down. All right, let's look at some of the other teams. Uh, yeah, let's look at some of the other teams if they can move up to the B tier here. No, PSU is B tier. Mm, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't, they played well. They didn't look bad against them. I mean, they lost to who we think is the second best team in the country, performed well while doing it. It's only their second loss. I think... Well positioned two loss teams are kind of what B tier is for. Okay, Here, here's here's the difference between Utah and and Penn State. Utah's losses were close. Yeah. Penn State's were not. What's what's Penn State's best win? What is Penn okay. State like? What but what their losses. State- but what their is, losses are to our number two and our number five. Mm-hmm. Penn State. Okay. 
But still, what is Penn State? I don't care. I mean, yeah, who they lost to, I guess, kind of matters. But who who did they beat? Who did they beat? Okay, they went on the road to um, to Auburn and demolished them because it's it's tough playing. It's tough going on the road in an SEC. So maybe you can give them that one. But no, Auburn's Auburn's not good. So then their best win is Northwestern. Minnesota? No. No. Now now you look at Utah. Oh, they they have a win over USC. Okay. Yeah. It's that alone right there. Now do UCLA. All right, UCLA has one loss. They lost to Oregon. They beat uh Washington. They beat Utah. Yeah. They UCLA belongs Belongs right there. Now do Illinois. Illinois is there because they only have one loss, which is the reason why you need to move UNC up to the yeah, B tier. We, we do, we do need to move UNC loss. up. We do need to move UNC up. I Penn State needs to go down. They're they're not a B tier. All right. You, you, need, you, you, you lost your second game until you prove that you can be a, a top would be a team in the top 25 be the team in the top 25 which you're not going to you're not going i think to the point team. austin is that yes penn state lost to two good teams but they got completely blown out by one of them and you know they played played well against ohio state for for three quarters but no, then it, it's 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 not it's not my home state i'm, I'm just saying that UNC UNC has one loss. They're they're in the they're in the driver's seat to potentially win their conference, their their conference uh, championship game. There, they're they're in their driver's seat. So that alone puts them in the B tier. I like agree. Illinois, just like Illinois, they're in the driver's seat to win their division, to get a chance to to play for the Big Ten uh, title. They, they I, deserve to be right there in the B tier. I, I agree with Kyle. If they're there, if I think if you're in like pretty clear first place in your division and you only have one loss, I think that I think that qualifies you as a B tier team, even though and the points you guys are making in the chat are absolutely valid that they haven't beat anybody. I I agree. I agree with you guys. If they had beat someone, they'd probably be in a tier but they haven't not all divisions are equal 100%. I agree. Again, they're in B tier, not a tier. I don't think the bar for B tier is all that high, which is why I was fighting to keep Penn state up there. But I, I let Kyle win that argument. Um, I right. personally would have Penn state in B tier still. Yeah, I just, I... I just said Austin. <laughs> All right. I agree with you, Austin. I, I can't answer that question. If Kyle wants to answer that question, Kyle can answer that question. Here's a question. Who is there anybody that's worth going up to eight tier though? Um <clears throat> no. Yeah. That that's that's the answer. No. <laughs> Oregon, I, no. You USC. They're they're <sighs> I'd say no. Utah has two losses, so I B tier is as high as as uh as high as Utah can go. Illinois, Three. no. UCLA, no. Ole Miss, no. UNC, no. no. We'll talk about Ole Miss once if I said once. If they like beat Bama, we, we can talk. Um can we talk about LSU to B tier? I think we can at least have that conversation. I'm not yep. against the conversation. Um, they started off the season terribly, but they've become a good team. Um, and have they? Have they? Well, oh, okay, okay. Their their last game, yes. So beginning of the season, they beat Southern Mississippi State, New Mexico, barely beat a terrible Auburn team, and then got slaughtered. Yep. by tennessee absolutely yep. slaughtered by yep. tennessee yep i then agree beat florida then had the convincingly win um significant win over all miss 
So you 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 got you got one you got one really good win here. I do, I'm not ready to put LSU in B tier yet. Maybe maybe you can they can stay to that left side and be like, all right, maybe maybe they can go in the B tier. Um, maybe they can go in the B, B tier here, but coming up, but I mean they, they play Alabama next. They play Alabama this weekend here. You win, yeah. You you they go up to B tier there. So as of right now, I say no to moving them moving them up. How many losses? They have two. I think that's fair. And we already have them. We already have them over here. Good, give me some good wins as a two loss team. Give me some good wins and you can go up to the B tier. How many? One. Hold on. Give me one to be more. fair, give to be fair. You can go up. To be fair. Um, how many teams in the B tier currently have a better win than beating Ole Miss? Now they have two losses. So I understand that that changes the conversation. But the fact of the matter is, is that there aren't a lot of teams currently in B tier who have a better win than LSU's win over Ole Miss. I mean, and, and, I mean, that's that's fair, but. But again, they have two losses, so the conversation's well, but, different. I acknowledge I mean, that, you, Utah, which is, yeah, you, you, Utah has the better win. Yeah. And Utah also has two losses, which is the conversation we're having. Why Why does everyone in B tier have one loss except for Utah? Because they have a great win. That's our precedent right now, is it not? I know, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling putting LSU up there, but what, what is what is chat say? What is our what is our chat say? All right, chat. Yay or nay? We'll 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 let you guys do this one. Yay or nay? LSU to B tier. Are you fine with giving L giving the SEC biased up to the B tier? If they win, well, yeah. If they win, absolutely, they move up to B tier. One hundred percent, they move yep. up to B tier. All right, they're 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 with me, Jared. Wait to see what they do this weekend. So that's fair. They're they're right there on the cusp. All right. So I think I think I think this is probably it here. Uh, somebody I did see somebody mention: Should Notre Dame get moved out of M tier? They lost to Marshall. Yeah, they did. Marshall. Okay, Kyle. It, it, are are we fine leaving A? Okay, so let me just reset because just for the audio people. Our S tier, which we always have is four teams. S tier is always four teams. That's the rule. Tennessee, one. Ohio State, two. Georgia, three. TCU, four. Our A tier, which we can be pretty flexible on how many teams are in A tier. I think Kyle and I said anywhere from like two to eight. Um, currently sits at three teams. Michigan, Clemson, Alabama. So the only team there with a loss being Alabama. Our B tier is Oregon, USC, Utah, Illinois, UCLA, Ole Miss, and North Carolina. Yeah, there's no other team to move to A tier. Yeah. That's and that's the question. That's the question I'm asking. UNC and B feels wrong, so wrong. I mean, at this point, at this point, this is the rest of the one loss teams. Uh, Austin, I understand where you're coming from, but what I'm seeing in North Carolina is a one loss team who's currently undefeated in their conference and is likely to face Clemson at this point in the ACC championship game. All of those factors put together leads me to feel okay putting them in b tier i acknowledge that it's close i also acknowledge that lsu would probably destroy them if they played on a neutral field i also acknowledge that mm -hmm. can we add two lane to the chart next week if you remind me before we start recording because i don't feel like finding two lane uh in my in my file and liberty to be honest maybe but yeah, we can look into it. 
oh, let's, can I, can I do this quickly? Can I do this quickly? Can I do a copy paste? Oh, Kyle, you didn't get the one with no background. I, I thought I thought this didn't have a background. I thought I, I thought he, these he, did not have a background, but I, I mean, he has a background, but we'll we'll use it for now. We'll use it for now. When I open this next week and I see there's one of them with a background, I'll get pissed off uh, and I'll fix it then. Copy image. I, I, I don't know why that's happening, but here we go. Um. And we can just what what do we want? I'm just over here on the far end of C. Sure. Sure. We'll fix it later. We'll fix it later. All right. Um yeah, this is yeah, this is our our rankings here for week nine. This, okay. These are our okay. rankings. Um, real quick as some cleanup. Do we still want Cincinnati over in the batter's box? Nope. No. Nope. Do we still want Kentucky, Kentucky in the Kentucky, batter's box? No. no. Uh, Wake Forest. Texas didn't play this week, right? So no change nope. there. Wake Forest, no. Well, we just, yeah, well, I mean, that was just Wake Forest's second loss. We just bumped them out of A tier. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Penn um, State, we just moved there. We just added Tulane. We just added Liberty. Mississippi didn't, State Mississippi. didn't play. Kansas State. Can we make can we have a conversation about Kansas State in B tier? <sighs> Who is their other loss, Jared? I don't remember. TCU Go ahead and tell and, me. Uh... It's it's a team that you just added in here that I gave you, Jared. Tulane. Okay, but we just added Tulane to the chart. Yeah, so keep Kansas State where they're at. <laughs> fair, fair. Totally fair. You know, it's just they just beat a team 48. Nothing I feel like it at least deserved a conversation. They beat a top 10 team, 48 to nothing. I think mm -hmm. it deserved at least a conversation. Yep. And, and by the, the way, look, and we had the conversation and we're done. And by the way, looked really, <laughs> and by the way, looked really good against TCU. A game that they, they ultimately did. lost, but they looked good in that game. They did. I mean, they, they are. I, I guess they're they're kind of in the in the driver's seat right now. They're they're second in in the Big Twelve right now. They're they're right there in the hunt to to play in the Big Twelve uh, championship game. Stop it. So Kansas State B tier. I, th I think I think like what we said with LSU. Let's wait to see what they do against Texas this week. Is 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 Texas now the watermark in the, in the Big Twelve? No. no. <laughs> if they beat Texas, they can go to B. It feels yes. very arbitrary. If I'm being honest, Austin, it feels very arbitrary. Why? Yeah. Why? Why is why is Texas the? I'm just saying they just they just beat number nine Oklahoma State 48 to nothing. I everyone's against me on this. Everyone's against me on this, uh, but I feel like Kansas State in B tier is a conversation that it's it's just like LSU. They 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 got the they got the one really good win here, and it's like hey yeah you're you're right there on the cusp. Let's let's see how you do next week, and maybe maybe you'll get over that. You win, you win, and you you go in, you go up, you go up to the B tier. Okay, that's the com I mean that's the conversation. I feel like if we had had this conversation last week, we would have said, well, if they beat Oklahoma State, we can no, move them no, into B tier. No, Austin. If Penn State isn't B, neither is Kansas State. Kansas State at least beat a top 25 team. Yeah, the, they State. won their top 10 matchup, Austin. <laughs> Kansas State won their top 10 matchup. 
That would be the difference. Yeah, uh, but Penn State wasn't close, I, and Kansas I, I think, State won. Yeah, I, 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 I like, I like this, um, this uh, tier list, Jared, and it is, it is a week nine, not week eight, by the way. Um, you know, yeah, I. Why, why do you wait until the forty fifth minute? This is the fourth time I said it. Go, go back and listen again. This is, this is the fourth time I've said it. <laughs> See, Austin says. <laughs> How, how did I not hear you once? <laughs> how did I not hear you once? <laughs> Good God. Right, I just uh, I just switched to new ADHD meds and maybe they're not working. Okay. Right. Everyone pretend that said nine the entire time. Right, let's see what week 10 has for us, Jared. Let's see, let's see if there's some. I was too I was too caught up defending TCU. Or Kansas State, rather. All right. Let's see here. We got the battle of... uh, (laughs) We got a battle of the waves. We got Tulane Green Waves versus Tosa and the Golden Hurricane. (laughs) For for this week, Jared. Yeah, it's a big week. Uh, Big week coming up for sure. Uh, Everyone make sure to tune in to Sloop Picks. And... Oh, that's right. We have Tuesday night action starting. It is Tuesday. Yes, we got Ball State, Kent State, and Buffalo and Ohio. And then on Wednesday, we got some more action: Central Michigan, Northern Illinois, and Western Michigan in Bowling Green. I honestly forgot we had a Maction emote until Zach just used it. <laughs> yep, and then Thursday... Get some more Appy State and Coastal Carolina, and then Friday, uh, Oregon State and Washington. Yeah, we have Clemson, Notre Dame this week. We have Georgia, Georgia Tennessee. Tennessee. We have Bama, LSU. Um, could could be a fun one. Now, unfortunately, Notre Dame is not a member of the ACC. So that's Kansas not going State. to affect the uh, yeah, division Kansas race. State, Kansas State and Texas should be another good one. Um, eh. I about I about said this one, but it's not going to be. I was about to say Wake Forest and NC State, and uh, no, uh, <laughs> but no, yeah, I think I think I think there's some very very good games here. We're we're here in November. It is November now, and. Whew. Down, See if boys, Oklahoma and State can bounce back against Kansas. Hey, remember when we all pretended for a while that Kansas was a good football team? That was a what's weird time. Rec- what's their record right now? That was a weird time. Since he against a service academy, poor souls. Yeah. What's Kansas' record right now? I, I don't they, care. They, they start off like... They started, I think I did say it like when they when they won their fifth game. And I said, watch, they're gonna lose their final eight games here. And yeah. huh, they they've lost three so far. Uh, three of their last three. And <laughs> yeah, there's a really good chance they 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 may. <laughs> All right. Kyle, I think that's the end of the episode. Uh, I want to encourage everyone to join our Discord server, discord.sloopcast.com. You can hang out with all of these uh, hooligans that you see down here in our Discord chat, um, as as well as us. Kyle and I are constantly in the server. Um, they play OK State uh, 50. What, what's what's 50 50? Hello, all. Hi. Um, so, yeah, you can you can come join our Discord server. The Discord server is free. Yes, there are premium sections of it. Yes, the premium sections um only cost three dollars a month it's only like 32 dollars if you pay for the year up front it's something like that don't specifically quit me uh but it's something like that um come it's 3146 or it was i think they may have changed how they tax stuff on patreon so it might have pushed it over 32 i'm not sure um but yeah, um, come come join our Discord server. 
come join the discord server um and if you uh enjoy the discord server and you want a little bit more um yeah regardless it's cheap exactly austin regardless it's cheap so yeah it's 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 incredibly inexpensive we'd love to pick up a few new patrons um and you can come live chat with us during uh football games and come live chat with us uh during podcast recordings it's it's a lot of fun y'all that's all i'm gonna say um kyle do you have by the way we also do uh meetups sometimes uh but we just do that within patreon as well um so we would love to get another one of those going so yeah uh kyle do you have anything in kyle's corner i don't i should i should have said well there's one thing i should have said this in our monday's episode but i have a, i have a fun fact for everybody here Ohio State, Ohio State got a pick six against uh, pick six university. I mean, uh, Penn State University. Yes, sir. When was the last time Ohio State got a pick six against Penn State? Yeah, we had a long streak of doing that for a while. And then, of course, it dried up. Um, I don't. I'm going to say 2015. Uh, 2012 is the correct answer. And there was a, uh, there was a good streak, especially starting 2001. I think it was like eight, it was like eight of the, um, 10 or 11 years. Ohio state had a pick six, but yeah, it's been, it was 10 years since Ohio state had a pick six against Penn state. For sure. And now Austin has moved on to trying to get uh gangland a date. That's what's currently happening in the chat. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's, I, I guess we're also doing a golf outing. I, I wasn't privy to this one, but that's apparently a thing that's happening. Um, I I'm just driving the cart. You guys, I, I do not golf. I'll, I'll drive the cart, um, and drink beer and maybe in that order. Um, And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the episode. We agreed to do a scramble earlier this week, Jared. It's in sleep. Yeah, I know. I I saw it. I was I was just like too busy at that moment to engage in the conversation, but I saw it. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll be the beer maid. <laughs> we are playing a foursome, which means you play the best. Yeah, I. I know what a scramble is. I know. I know. Um, Jared is the beer wench. I'm I'm fine with that. I will I will definitely be the beer wench. I'm not dressing up though. I'm not gonna dress up like a beer oh, wench, shit. but you, I'll you, I'll play the role you, of beer wench. You want one more? You, want <laughs> you one more will. <laughs> no, I won't. You want, you want one more fun yes. stat here? One more fun Absolutely. stat. Since 2012, since 2012, Ohio State, when leading at any point of the game, any point, by 10 or more points, Ohio State is 102 and 1. For how long? Since 2012. When, they, so when they're leading by the day, 10 or more points, they are 102 and 1. So in the Meyer Day era. Yeah. That's a great stat. Ten or more points, and they've only lost once. When, what was their one loss? Uh, uh, I apologize. In a regular season. It was yeah. In the regular season. I was about to say. Yep. I think, I think that was one of the uh, Clemson games, was it not? The, was, that, was that the one that Braxton got hurt in? It might have been, but uh chat is right the answer is in 2016 to penn state oh you're saying that stat only applies to the regular season yes yes oh okay he said not counting the po i thought he said that the one loss came in the postseason i misheard him i don't know that's a fun set all right that's it jared that's it that's all i got all right 
that's it. That's the end of the episode. Um, tonight's ending music will once again be by a uh, Cincinnati uh, singer songwriter uh, band goes by the name of Lincoln. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Lincoln.